Okay, folks, listen, I'm finna keep it real simple, right? I got a lot of ingredients right here, but first, let me tell you what we making. We making the creamy Cajun shrimp pasta, and you know me, folks, we gotta do it with andouille sauces. Let's get it. All right, folks, look, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little fly over these ingredients right here. Now, look, it looks like it's a lot, but this is what you guys have in your cupboard, right? So, only thing I'm holding back here in the back, you know, this is my salt. You know, I like that kosher, and I like that coarse grind, right? And then right here, hiding from the back, which you guys already saw, that's my, you know, my andouille sausage, right? And this is a chicken andouille. That's like my favorite go-to, right? So the very first thing we're going to do is fettuccine. I got some water boiling. I'm going to go ahead and get that going. I got my salt. We're going to put a couple of pinches of salt in the water and get these going. All right, so first thing, like I said, a couple of pinches of salt. Okay, folks, so listen. You want to cook your fettuccine to the instructions on the box. We want to do it for, you know, for al dente, right? So I've done that already, but I want to give you guys a pro tip. What I want to do is I want to get my Pyrex cup. You guys want to save back at least, a, you can save back a half a cup, but I'm going to go ahead and just save about a, ah, that's good right there, about a cup. Listen, this pasta water right here is going to help, you know, our creamy sauce adhere to our pasta, right? So I'll set that to the side. We'll take this. Listen, that's a pro tip, folks. And listen, if it get too thick, what that does is, it helps it become a little bit more creamy, right? So, al dente, we got it all right there. Now we're gonna use that cold water because we want to stop it. We just finna shock it right here. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and, you know, prep our andouille. I'm just cutting the ends off. I take this right here and I call this chef's choice. You know what I mean? Uh, it won't be the real chef's choice. I like to get one from the middle, but just give me something to snack on, right? So I'll just cut that off right there. Those are the ends. And then you guys cut them like how you want to. Okay, so look, I did my andouille. I'm just like prepping everything. And if I hadn't said already, look, this is really like a one pot, one pan, however you're gonna do it, meal, right? So look, I go ahead and cut down some uh, onions. I cut them down any kind of way. Believe me, they're gonna get nice and soft and you know, disintegrate anyway and leave a nice flavor, right? So now I got a medium high flame. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go ahead and add some extra virgin olive oil. If you guys don't already know, you know I use branch and vine garlic infused olive oil. Okay, so look, now what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and put our shrimp in the, you know, our pan, you know what I mean? And then we gonna just cook them for about two minutes. I'm gonna say two minutes on each side, each side at a medium flame. You know what I mean? That's all you need. All right, folks, now look, I want you guys to come in here and look at this right here. Remember how we put the Creole kick, the uh, black pepper, right? And then what you guys didn't see is I put a little dollop of uh, butter inside of that just to help it along, right? So you see that right there? That's the flavor, folks. Now, how we make that even better, we call that the fine in there, right? So now we take our medallions that we cut, you know, of our andouille sauces. And don't forget, that's a chicken andouille, folks. You know what I mean? It's made by Hoffy. You guys got to get it. I don't care if you got to order it or whatever. You know what I mean? That covers everybody across the board. Those who don't do the pork, you don't want no, you know, beef. Look, chicken andouille, the way to go. You know what I mean? I'm giving up the game, folks. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my shrimp and we're just gonna put it all in here just like that. Now, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start to saute, you know, our garlic and our onions. I'm gonna start with my onions first. If you've been watching me for a minute, you know I always say, I believe that onions need a head start. Okay, now, practicing what I preach, we start off with our onions, right? You can look, I got all different shapes. You guys can cut them like this, you can julienne them, whichever you wanna do. You know what I mean? But like I say, I like to get a head start. Okay, so look, you see how I took all of the onions and I kind of like scraped everything and, put, you know, put it all in the middle, right? So now we're going to go ahead and go with our garlic. Right, this is my new press. This will be out for everybody if you guys want to purchase one of them. It's got the logo on there, SG, standing for smoking and grilling with AV. But here we go. Look at this right here. Okay, so as you notice, I put the garlic on the top part, right? That's cool. Now we take some of that fresh thyme, just run your finger across that. You know what I mean, the top, and it should look like that. But what I'm doing is I'm just stripping it down, right? We just don't want to put the twig in the inside. Now remember, I know I say fresh thyme. If you guys don't have fresh thyme, it's okay. You know what I mean? Uh, you can use, you know, dry thyme. You know what I mean? But fresh is always mostly the best option. All right, and now we come with our broth. Now look, it's going to have to come back to a boil. I got it. It's going to stop. All right, so what I'm gonna do is raise my heat up and make sure I'm at least at medium. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just get about a three quarter cup. You know what I mean? That's good right there. I'm gonna look back at my pan to see if my pan is starting to boil. Okay, so now that we come up to a boil right here, this is what I'm talking about right here. I already got that broth in here, that's coming down. Now we're gonna go ahead with our heavy whipping cream. Right, now I made my uh, fire 
I raise it up a little bit. We a little bit more like a medium high flame, right? So we'll get that going. All right, so now, once we got that back to a boil, now we're gonna start adding, you know, our tomatoes. Okay, so once you put the tomato in, and that acidity, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna balance it out with a little bit of sugar, right? So I'm gonna add just a couple of tablespoons of sugar. I want you guys out there, look, quit talking and doing all that, talking about how oh, you added sugar to it. Trust me when I, you know, tell you folks, it's just a balance. You won't taste the sweetness or nothing like that. When you hit it, I promise you it's gonna be right. Right, so now we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. And don't forget, the full ingredient list is now printable on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. So now I'm adding the rest of my ingredients, right? We just go ahead and start putting everything in. That's what we like about these little one-pot meals, right? You just put everything in the inside and you go from there. Now that we have our parsley, I'll just go ahead and add it. I'll bring my rubber spatula. Let me just get the rest of this off my cutting board. Right? This brings a nice little flavor to it, and it also brings a little color to it too. Look at that right there. Don't that look like one of them Cajun or Creole dishes right there? Ooh wee. Now y'all talk to me and let me know. So after tasting this, I hit it with two pinches of salt, retasted it, and that was it right there, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and just, look at this right here, folks. We're gonna go ahead and hit it with this Parmesan, right? Nothing like that fresh grated. If you guys can, you know, help it, go ahead and grate your own. Don't go ahead, don't buy that, the, you know, what is that, the store pre, pre-shredded. Don't forget it's got that waxy film and it doesn't melt as much, right? But you see this right here? This is what you wanna have. With that heat that we have in there, we got a medium flame. Look at how this is coming together. This is like a thickening agent, right? Don't forget it, bring that taste too. But look at that right there. Ooh wee, we're screaming for the rest of it, ain't it folks? All right, so don't forget we had that pasta, right? So now we're just gonna go ahead and just add this, you know, like this, just like you see. Notice I got a pot that's big enough. Right, now check this out. Here's a piece that like kinda like stuck. I didn't put no butter or no oil on it. I see people doing that, but when you do that, it makes it hard for everything to, you know, coat coat your noodles, like whatever your sauce is, right? So I want it to be a little bit on the sticky side. So I run my hand through the colander and just try to separate it as best I can, right? Now don't forget, we saved some of that pasta juice, right? That's what's gonna tie all of this in here, along with a little bit more of that Parmesan. I still got that heat on, I don't reduce it down to like low, right? So look at this here. Now I'm getting ready to come with my, the rest, like my andouille sauces and my, and my shrimp. Right, so start getting that in there. If you remember, we saved that pasta water, right? So now I'm just gonna add just a little bit in here. I still got it on medium heat. And what you wanna do is you just wanna keep stirring this around, right? Then you wanna add a little bit more, you know, Parmesan. You can grate a little bit more of that in there. But you see this right here? Just the way it should come out at the restaurant, looking like this. Now, if you guys wanna make it a, more of a creamier sauce, you know what I mean? You could just like double the recipe, cook it on low, and make a whole lot, right? But this right here is the way I like mine. So I'm gonna continue on doing this. Look at that. It's nice, meaty. You got andouille everywhere. You know what I mean? We can see, look, look at that right there. You can see shrimp. Now, after it's been on a medium high flame for about two minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my fire off and just continue. All right, y'all, so you see it. I just took some pictures of it, but you can see it's nice and meaty. Got andouille everywhere. You know what I'm saying? The main thing is we got that shrimp. We got all that flavor. Listen, I am not finna over talk this. What I'm getting ready to do is, ooh, ooh wee. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that right there. Just look at that. Look at how that cheesy, creamy sauce just sticks to it. If you guys want more, you can do that too. I didn't even actually put in all of the, I didn't put in all of the, you know, pasta, because you know what, I, I didn't think it would take it all, but it probably would have, you know what I mean? But look at this. Okay, folks, so come here and take a look. You see it right there? Look, we didn't already put it in the, on the plate or the bowl, whatever you want to call this right here. Hey, what I want to call it is going down my, my throat and going into my belly. Hey, I don't know, that sounds kind of tricky, so I'm gonna say pause. Hey, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get me some right here, because we still got to take pictures of it, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and get me a little bit of this pasta. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go ahead and give me some andouille, and I gotta give me a piece of that 
you know, that shrimp. Would you see that right there? Let's bring this over the top. I'm not finna over talk it. Guess what, folks? Cheers. Whew, this right here is right. I don't know if you guys can capture any beads on my face or whatever. This is nice and smooth. Don't let the little heat that's inside of this right here, you know, fool you. You can give this to kids. If you want to, you can omit, you know, the cayenne pepper, right? I didn't put too much in there. You know I me, mean? just enough to, to go along with the Creole kick and that right there. That combination was just fire. Don't forget, it's on my website, smokingthegrillingwithab.com. And that's W-I-T-A-V.com. Now, if you're new to this channel, let me take this time to say hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, Check this out. There's a channel out here to simplify these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And this right here will feed a family of, uh, I'm gonna say five to six. With that being said, I'm gonna take this and that. I already got my Kool-Aid over there and I'm out. Peace.